Show me. So, if I was like reading this article, um, then I could click here. Oh wait, sorry. I don't know why I'm signed up. Oh. Working? Does it make you change? Maybe you should. Maybe you should start and stop again. Oh, okay. What's so, all that stuff? So this is the default is clip article, and this is guessing. Actually, it did a really bad job. It's done better jobs before. So it like is guessing what the whole article is, but this is they recently added this where you could change it using the key like it flashed in the corner there you can use the ch keyboard shortcuts to like sh grow it or shrink it or whatever mm. um i guess you could add tags or comments too so oh yeah so there's not that many options clip full page is you know the whole page and then clip url just takes the url of it but you're right the clip image would be nice I guess maybe because Evernote focuses more on text because it has all the search stuff. Yeah. Um, let me let me do a different one because I think that normally it does a better job. Mm. You've been using it? Yeah. For what? For the book. For the book. Article. Mm. This is going to be the same because let me pick it. Let me pick something else I can go to. Um, but you're more interested in, you're more interested in text? I mean, pictures? Hmm, maybe. So I usually do clip article. Uh, so I'll do, let's see how it does this time. This is okay. It's kind of annoying that I got that fixed. So there's a thing up in the corner? Oh yeah, you didn't see? No, can you do it again? Uh, okay. This thing comes up. Oh, I see. So those are the keyboard shortcuts. Yeah. It's, that wasn't that intuitive, actually. When I first saw that, I didn't read it, and I tried to click on them. Yeah. Uh, so it took me a while. It took me a couple times doing it before I realized. They should just make it in the standard shape down here, you know, three and then one. Mm. That's how people usually... Yeah, but I think I still just, because I saw it on my screen, I thought it was going to be a button. Mm. Um, and so then I can show you how... So then it's nice because uh, this, I don't have to take like screenshot or anything, it just shows up. And see, this is the one I just did. And it uh, titles it by the website title, which is nice. So it's nice is that it's auto kind of done. It's not such a big deal, too. This one? Oh, no. That other one I did, I guess I didn't really do it. Uh, so a lot of these things I've done use. Now almost everything that I put in here is, I think, done with that. With this. I also have this other tool that I haven't used that much, but I thought seemed like it should be useful because this is like the add. Oh, I'm like being really slow. Add plus or something. Why is there nothing in it? <laughs> okay. This what is to do? A good example. Describe it to me. Um, it has like all these shortcuts for, like, email this. Share this to Facebook, share this on Twitter, and it's like one click and you you sign up, you log in with your credentials beforehand. Oh god, you're blinding me. And, um, maybe I'll click and restart and work. So, and so then, like, instead of having to, like, do a lot of copy paste and logging into different things every time I want to post something, I can just use it there. This time it worked for some reason it didn't work last time. So if you say right now, Gmail. Well, 
I think because I'm not actually on a page, it's not going to work. Oh, well. Go to page. Oh, yup page. Okay, so let me go say this restaurant. And then I wanted to share it with you. Oh, there's so many options. I know, this actually is really intense. Look, okay, I'll show you. You customize it. Look how many services they have. Whoa. No way. That's crazy. Uh, and I'm actually, you're supposed to have 11 services. So even though I only wanted these five because it kind of intimidated me having 11, they still filled it up with 11. So there's things on here that I don't, like Reddit. Like, I'm not going to use Reddit. These were the five I picked. And then it just filled up the rest. I think that's pretty stupid. But whatever. Maybe it's to encourage me. Anyways, so look, see, now I have. I, it's nice because now the only thing I have to do is type in the two and send. So with you, I would have been like two letters like that and, you know, send. And I didn't have to do anything else. So I don't know. I do this whole sequence of. of emailing about things and posting about things pretty often but for some reason and I so when I first saw this tool I was really excited I was like wow this is gonna be make things even easier and um, I I like have never used it I think I've used I used it once it was actually funny what I used it on uh, was the post on Tumblr that you had put, and I wanted to put it on Facebook to share it with Which other one? people. The elephant. Oh, the elephant. And, yeah, so for some reason I used that, and you would think that, like, Tumblr and Facebook would have a better, you know, that there'd be a linkage between that, and I wouldn't have to use some stupid other extension. And then it's, oh... I don't know, my internet's not working. It's going to show you how I posted it. But I think I used it for that, and then maybe, like, one other, like, in that same, like, ten-minute period. So what's the deal? Huh? What's the deal? I don't deal? know. See, there. This is the one. And it worked well? Huh? And it worked well? It worked fine, but I don't know. I don't know why, yeah, but... I still, I don't end up, maybe I'm just so used to the patterns that I have already. Mm. It's like a muscle reaction. But this would save me time, right? I, I think know. also the number, of t the thing is that usually I think I would customize whatever I was doing a little bit more, you know? Because like even if I was going to share this with you in an email, mm -hmm. I wouldn't just leave it at that. So I'm still going to go through a couple extra motions. I think that's been one of the nicest things about this Evernote Clipper, is that, um, so Evernote also has this screenshot thing. This bothers me a lot. So there's like a, cl so this, you, you clip, right, something. But then it, it like opens it, and now I have to like type this in. Type what in? A name for it. Oh. And for some reason that bothers me a lot. Uh, like, I like the fact that with this, the extension one, mm -hmm. I think that actually, maybe it's, maybe it's an option actually that I don't see it. But anyways, I would still go back to it, right? I think maybe there's a thing that says whether it shows it shows up like that after you do it. But I think it's the fact with this clipper thing is that I can use it and I don't have to I like Okay, this is a bad example, but like most of the times I would just like push this button and then I would be done and I would keep on going. Because a lot of the, what this was replacing was the fact that I would keep open all these tabs at the same time of things I was supposed to read. So instead I just clip it and go back and read it later now. Or I use, oh, I was going to tell you about my bookmarks. 
See, I started this to read bookmark folder and to watch. And this was to kind of deal with the fact that I would end up having like that window open with like 10 tabs. So I think that that's what that feels maybe a little different is like this. If I share it on something, like maybe I'll, maybe I'll just try this to show. Like I don't think I'm going to stop at this point. Like I would, I have to add context to it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So even though, also this is really slow. I don't know. Maybe, is there something in the brain that can just like, like I don't think I would stop with this. So in that case, it's kind of like, well, if I'm gonna go and do like four more key sh strokes or whatever, and button clicks and so on and so forth. I also don't post a lot of things to Facebook or Tumblr or anything. Probably yeah. sharing with me more is what I do more. That's it. But you don't use it for sharing with an email. I know. That's the one thing you have never used it for. No, I think I've, I mean, I think I've tried it out. Like when I first got it, I tried it. But yeah, I'm not consistently using it. I think also email is a tough one because uh, I don't know. My email's already always open, anyways. Usually in the same window on another tab. So it doesn't feel like that big of a deal. To just copy and paste. Copy and paste it all. Mm hmm. So yeah, I think it's that it's copy and paste and the fact that copy, I'm not going to just copy and paste, I'm going to copy, paste, and type a message anyways. Copy, paste, type a message, yep. If I wasn't typing any message, which is why I think it feels different with this Evernote Clipper, is that with that, because for me, I'm not going to add anything, like in a pre, it puts in the title already, so... I don't need to add any more stuff, so it feels like that is truly a shortcut as opposed to the other thing is just kind of like saves one step and I'm going to do another step or two after that name. That's all. Maybe it was going to take up like your entire phone storage. <laughs>